Hey guys, welcome to the stream, Gamerzak here, and welcome to War for the Overworld, or basically Dungeon Keeper. It's Dungeon Keeper. If you've watched my Dungeon Keeper Nostalgiasm, this is kind of a Gamer Encounters slash Nostalgiasm of War for the Overworld, because although War for the Overworld is a 2015 game, I think it's 2015, it's so nostalgic. Like, I didn't grow up with Dungeon Keeper all that much, but I played Dungeon Keeper quite, quite for like 10 hours. I played it. Uh, so, so, uh, the nostalgiasm's on the channel, and uh, I played more afterwards because it was actually kind of fun. And War for the Overworld is the same game. It's just the same game, but better. So this is kind of a nostalgiasm, but it's also kind of a Gamer Encounters. So it's kind of a nostalgic encounter. I don't have a series title for that. But also, I do have to mention a very special thank you to Raz, who is in chat. Raz is, is usually there, and he's also very active on Discord. He's a notable names there. And Raz is the underlord for today because he gifted this game to me. So this stream is possible thanks to Raz. Thank you so much, Raz. Hope you're in there. Hope you're enjoying it. And welcome to the stream. Counting TLS, Shadow Knight 649, Super Sajuk, JS 5563, JS who just dropped 100 bits earlier on. I draw lines, Aram 28, PDOS 13. Welcome. I know 10, hour 10 hours is like, those are rookie numbers. You got to push those numbers up. <laughs> I didn't grow up with Dungeon Keeper. Uh, insert Mike Ash. Should I play Dungeon Keeper before this game? I would say you don't have to, but I would recommend it because this game is basically built to be a new Dungeon Keeper. So seeing where this game came from is very, very insightful. And Counting TLS, I do have to say, on the Discord server, Counting TLS, the, our Caesar 3 master, uh, on Discord, which is discord.gg slash gamerzak, link down below, uh, he shared a speed run of Caesar 3. Um, not that he did, but he shared, he shared it there. And speed run of Caesar 3, fascinating to watch. So I recommend go checking that out if you so desire. Anyway, we're playing War for the Overworld. I'm wearing a black hoodie because we are an underlord today. And also because I tend to wear a black hoodie on, on new games. Uh, let's go ahead and jump to the campaign and get things started. And let's start the tutorial. I've been looking for someone to spearhead my campaign. But before we get stuck in, let's refresh that old mind of yours. Oh, I love the narrator's voice acting in this game. It's so over the top, but n I mean, it's kind of cheesy, but it's not cheesy. It's really cool. Anyway, mission one, this first, first tutorial. Because it's a tutorial, the narrator talks a lot, so I won't be talking too much. We'll, we'll let him talk his share, but by mission two, we should be back to talking. Anyway, let's start the tutorial mission. We won't bother too much with achievements. Let's get this started. Now go! Welcome back, Underlord. I must say, I wasn't expecting you quite so soon. The transference may have left you feeling a bit foggy in the head. Focus now. I'll try to ease you back into it. Fortunately, this does seem to get easier each time. This is your home realm, the source of your power, and the anchor that binds you to reality. Many years ago, it was destroyed and you were cast out into formless nothing. Fortunately, you've returned from your exile to once again challenge those who would stand between us and the mortal realm of Kairos. Your resurrection heralds the next phase of our assault upon its wretched empire, now led by the newly crowned Emperor Lucius. But he is least and final of our worries. It's his generals and the protection of their goddess, Kira, that will truly test our metal. Ready yourself, Underlord. Let's begin our war for the Overworld. Ah. Uh. Yes, and Shadow Knight in chat says that that is the voice actor from the original Dungeon Keeper. I was wondering. Thank you so much. That's amazing. It's Welcome so awesome. Back, 
Underlord. Here we go. Here we go. It's been a long time since you were banished to the ether. You've returned as a husk of your former self. But I've taught far denser Underlords than you. Let's start with the basics. All right. So I have actually played core. the tutorial. The tether that allows you to manifest your malignant will. If destroyed, your consciousness will once again be scattered to the void. Your workers are an extension of your dark will. They have many jobs, but their main focus is in carving out the halls of your dungeon. Here Put we them go. to work by clicking and dragging your cursor upon the flashing tiles to tag them for excavation. Your workers will now rush forth to dig out and claim the tagged area. Once they have laid down the stones, marking the ground as your own, you will be able to build rooms upon the finished tiles. While your luckies get to work, look to the east of your dungeon core. This is a gateway, one of the many portals that you'll use to attract minions to your dungeon. Order your workers to dig a path to it now. Easy enough, now easy enough. Now that you have a gateway, minions can enter into your service. But first, you'll need to build the rooms necessary to entice them in. Start by building a barracks. This room will allow your minions to hone their combat skills without the risk of permanent death or disfigurement. Select it, and build it by clicking and dragging your hand across the claimed tiles. Most rooms must be built at least three by three in order to function properly. Though the lair and vault are effective at any size. Here we go. So he does talk a lot on mission one. He does talk a lot. And we kind of know what we're a doing, because... Oh, a gnarling, here we a go. A gnarling has entered your dungeon. Attracted by the barracks, these green-skinned scrappers aren't quite right in the head, and they'll happily hack at your foes until someone is dead. Outside of combat, gnarlings will train themselves within your barracks. You can pick them up with a click if you find them slouching off, then deposit them anywhere within your dungeon with a right click. For further entertainment, you can always put yourself directly into their head by casting possession upon them. Yes, yes, this is, you can it's increase so Dungeon Keeper. Props within your rooms by fortifying the walls closest to the oh, props. Did you see that? Workers will fortify walls automatically when so, they've completed all their other tasks. Now that you have some minions, you will need to cater for their basic needs. First, build a layer so the pitiful little meat sacks can get some rest. Well done. There's a little pig in but the little see how your gold mannequin here. <laughs> have been depleted. Command your workers to mine some of the nearby gold by tagging the gleaming tiles. They collect and return gold to your dungeon coffers, allowing you to spend it on whatever your dark heart desires. Your core can store up to 16,000 gold pieces. But if that number sounds pitifully small, or if wealth inspires the evil in you, simply build a vault to store more. Now that you've got a bit of coin in your pocket, you can build a slaughter pan. This room produces scores of micro piglets. A delicacy that will sustain the weak flesh of your minions by filling their bellies with succulent pig flesh. All right, so I, I wanted to have him talk through all of this. So you guys, in case you didn't know how the game worked, it's all explained right here. I don't, I don't really need to explain too much, but basically, it's exactly the same as Dungeon Keeper. There's no difference, is there? <laughs> really, <laughs> it's just like a your more modern, has been better. Breached. Dungeon Keeper. Cast Rally upon these spectres, and your minions will immediately sally forth to wreak bloody havoc. Oh yes, and we can also slap people so they work faster. Work faster. Get to it. Yes. Oh, we accidentally took away the Rally, I think. Kill those guys, please. 
work faster. Come on. Let's give them a bit of a backhand, and then they'll they'll keep things going. <laughs> uh, JS5563. Well now finish off the rest mm. of these manifestations with a second rally flag. JS5563 says you want to do a YouTube series about uh, SimCity 2000, but you don't know anything about video editing or recording or anything. It just takes practice. You learn as you go. But I recommend Your OBS Studio. made short work of those <laughs> specters. But see how they still circle the flag. You can dismiss rally flags by slapping them with a right click. This should allow your minions to return to their jobs and tend their needs in a timely fashion. You can cast Recall upon a minion to immediately return them to your dungeon. Though if they are attacked as it channels, then the spell will fizzle into nothing. Oh, pretty cool, pretty cool. You're on a roll, Underlord. And I've been waiting far too long to begin my war for the overworld. Let us enter the realm of Kairos and continue your retraining against a more fitting enemy. Mm. Well done, Underlord. I see it's all coming back quite quickly. I expected nothing less, but there's much still to learn. Why don't we work in a bit of murder while we're at it? It's time for you to enter the realm of Kairos. Fantastic. Mission one, done. Ah, uh, yes. So that's just a tutorial mission. Song Zen 93 says, Selamat petang, selamat petang. Uh, that just means uh, good evening, basically. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue on into mission two. Uh, we didn't get any of those. And continue. It should bring us to the world map. Here we go. We're entering the realm of Kairos. Now's the time for a bigger challenge. Before you lies an Imperial Keep, guarded by a certain Lord Rusimov. He had a bit of an accident that melted most of his face, but he's no less vigilant a soldier. He's been sent to guard an object that could threaten our campaign. Get in there, and burn the rest of him, Underlord. Ooh. I, I wish I could do that kind of voice acting. It's just, you, 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 you can practice, but voice acting, you, you tend to, you have to just have it sometimes. <laughs> Let's get start mission number two. Welcome to Kairos. Uh. We've punctured the veil of this world through a schism. A point of weakness in the bonds between realms. Unfortunately for us, the Empire has crafted defenses to keep us from the heart of their kingdom. These inhibitors prevent underlords from trespass. But whether it's bone or stone, it can be broken. I suspect that this Empire force has yet to taste true battle. But before you go engaging them, you'll need to muster up some minions. And Hoklaw just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Me, Hulk your Law. time in the ether has left you a weak husk of your former self. In order to reacquire your powers, you will need to access the veins of evil. Open them now, and use a sin to unlock the archive. The Veins of Evil. What is this? Unlock Archive. Oh, it's a tech tree. Archive unlocked. This room will allow your minions to research additional sins, which can be spent to recover your lost powers. Build one now to begin researching additional sins. Well, all right. Uh, we're going to need to start researching additional sins. You have claimed uh, a gateway. We've got that gateway down as well. Can we get more workers? How do you get more workers in this game? In Dungeon Keeper, you just sort of bought to have your new workers. workers. Prioritize objectives in a specific area. Place a worker rally banner in that location. Ah. Worker Rally will create a banner around which your workers will prioritize tasks. 
Oh, that Slap would have the been. Slap with the right click to dismiss it, or right click on its icon to dismiss all worker rally flags at once. Build an archive, Underlord. Your forgotten archive. powers are far more impressive than those you currently wield. A cultist has entered your dungeon. Here we go. Here we go. A cultist has found its way into your dungeon. Attracted by the magical tomes within your archive. These minions will spend most of their time researching sins for you. Though they are weak combatants, they have the power to curse your foes, making them weak to your other minions' blows. Uh, your minions are unfortunate <laughs> beings. He, of he just keeps flesh. talking. He just keeps Build talking. Build them a layer so they may rest. They paid this guy a lot of money so that he could do a lot of voice acting. <laughs> Aurelia is, Zero says, oh sweet, war for the overworld. Aurelia, Aure Aurelialis, Zero? <laughs> That's probably how you pronounce it. And Pharaoh himself says, seriously, what the hell is happening here? Basically, I'm building a dungeon You've to- You've discovered a perception shrine. Oh. Uh, we're building a dungeon to build an army to kill or burn a guy who had his face burnt off a while ago. A hungry minion can always find work elsewhere. Build a slaughter pen before your minions starve. There your cultists go. have worked hard to earn a new sin. Use it within the veins of evil to unlock the tavern. This shrine uncovers the fog of war over a wide area. Allowing you to spy on your enemies and this. keep track of their movements. Ooh, look this at all this gold. Provides your minions with succulent cooked pig flesh and stout ales. The tavern? After eating a meal within its hearthed halls, their spirits will be raised, increasing their productivity for a short time. Hmm. To remove the fog of war in a particular area, cast the prophecy spell which can be unlocked in the veins of evil. Build one now, and remember that the tavern is unique <laughs> and must be built at least three by five in order to be effective. You'll still need a slaughter pen in order to keep your tavern stocked. But in a pinch, you can always drop some alternative meat into the grinder. Oh. You can just... Rooms will only attract a certain number of minions before becoming full. You can In order just... to attract more, you will need to expand <laughs> them. We can just drop them down. And what? Is that? Is that just a pig running around? It's time to pay your minions, Underlord! Oh, Nothing need... in this life is free, Underlord. They do need and to be paid. you regularly need to pay your minions for their hard work. Be sure so to keep an eye mentioned... on your reserves. For if you've not enough gold for their wages, they'll be swift to find gainful employment elsewhere. Fortunately, your minions oh. will return some of their earnings by buying meals within your own tavern. What a delicious arrangement. We can uh, unlock a new spell. He mentioned this prophecy. Prophecy unlocked. Your and that allows us to... Gold. Prophecy allows will us temporarily to remove the fog of war in a small area. Allowing ah. you to scout the map and spy on your enemies. I see, I see. And my vaults are full, it seems. Uh, we have just too much gold lying around. There's so much gold on this map. Something uh, evil stares out there. Scouts, go find what the hell's making all that racket. Rally your minions to defeat these scouts once they breach your dungeon. Let's keep Sarusimov in the dark a little Did while. Did I forget... Did I forget to build a you barracks? Try using the lightning and heal spells to assist your minions in combat. I forgot to build a barracks, guys. Uh. <laughs> I forgot to build a barracks. We don't actually have any soldiers. Your vaults are full of gold. We have You've lightning. You've received a new sin. Lightning will call down a thunderous bolt of energy, damaging and Problem stunning solved. a single enemy. Problem solved. However. It can only be used within your own territory. <laughs> Problem solved. We forgot to build a barracks. I, uh, I confused the barracks for the lair. Damn it. Can we just expand this further? Just dig that all out. Do we have more people coming through? Alright. Do we have enough... 
to have your minions ignore problem solved problem solved focused on their current objectives <laughs> you can assign them to the peace band the health of minions is represented by petals surrounding their unit shield once no petals remain a creature will fall unconscious and soon die unless returned to its lair to recover they should be back by now Ugh. Bar the doors. We wait for reinforcements. Look how easily your minions cut down these sappers. If I didn't know better, I'd say the Empire is woefully unprepared. Once yes, minions. Minions, arrested, minions did that. You can leave them minions. to their work or force them to train by dropping them in a barracks. <laughs> Do we have any gnarlings or anything? We have two gnarlings now. Okay. Okay, we have a barracks, so units are coming on through. Can't dig that out. All right. So we've expanded things a little bit here. I guess we could just continue to expand the barracks if we just dig this all out, right? And we could expand the layer. You've got another sin, you devil, you. Ooh, we've researched another sin. So we get Annex, digs out a wall tile or claims a grand tile adjacent to your own, cannot be cast on wall tiles claimed by an Annex enemy. Unlocked. Does Annex work on bedrock? Annex will dig out a block or claim a ground tile that is adjacent to your own territory. However, it cannot be cast upon blocks or tiles claimed by an enemy. I see. If you don't want to do something, you could at least vocalize it, Underlord. <laughs> All right, we've got a big barracks now. Can I? We should probably dig that out. Uh, we've got a decent enough layer. How many units do we have? We have four, four. That should actually be enough to do what we need to do. So if I just rally all mil minions right here, and all of you, just go kill him. We're supposed to melt the rest of this guy. His face got melted off in the past, and we have to melt the rest of him. So sending all of our units should just pretty much kill him, right? <laughs> we should just be able to kill him. Uh... The dungeon keeper have a tech tree as if insert mic. If any of your minions fall in combat, your workers will attempt to rescue them and return them to their lair, where they may rest and recover. I don't think Dungeon Keeper had a, a tech tree in the sense that we could research it and stuff. Alright, but here we go, here we go. The enemy have breached the damn walls. Steal yourselves, lads. And we're just claiming his dungeon. Did we lose any units? No, we still got 4-4. So let's bust down this door, and this this is the guy here, Sir Rusimov. And geez, the combat sounds are really loud. Let me just uh, go to sound controls here and drop like music and sound by 10%, shall we? That seems good. Continue. Ah, that should be better. Didn't realize combat would be so loud. <laughs> you guys asking me to do an evil laugh? I don't I don't know if I could pull it off. Uh, I'm not too sure if I could pull it off. Let's let's just bust this down, yeah? It should be fine. It should be fine. We can't use spells outside of our territory, right? Yeah, we can't. Well, here we go. Got one more door here to bust down. And then we've got... What are these guys? Are these their workers? Are these workers? What? <laughs> Is he saying we're, we're taking too long? I think so. The light. The light is gone. Done. Done. You're, I am... Extinguished. It seems almost charitable to put him out of his misery. Gnarling lost. Oh, we lost the gnarling. We got a new one, I think. 
Narling just walked on in. Did they just rally into the combat? I'm not too sure. But come on, we should be able to kill the rest of these guys, right? Can we kill them all? It seems like we're winning. And then we just got to destroy this inhibitor, I think. There we go. And... Are we hitting it? We are. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. Ah. So, the achievement was to beat this mission in... Uh, in 10 minutes. I think we've taken a little longer than 10 minutes, yeah? Well done, Underlord. You're learning much faster this time. Time is relative, I think. <laughs> we've barely right. even started. And you already have a notch on your belt. Well done, Underlord. But there's Actually, no rest he didn't take for the too wicked. Long. Two inhibitors still stand between us and the mainland. But after your butchery of poor Lord Rusevov, I doubt they'll be as weakly defended. We only took 12 and a half minutes. I thought we, we were taking longer than that. If the achievement is 10 minutes, we actually didn't take that long. Anyway, let's go on and continue on to mission number three. Or I suppose technically mission number two, if you don't count the tutorial. And let's see what this one's about, shall we? You're making great progress, Underlord. You'll be back to your old self in no time. Our next target is the Citadel of the Intransigent Dotard, Lord Othelan. He's a dim-witted sort, and he seems to like marching his troops into an early grave. I'd say it's time to learn about traps. Ooh, traps. Now, I have not seen this mission at all. In my testing, I've only been through the first mission and sort of glimpsed the second mission, so this is all new for me from here on out completely. So defeat Lord Othelan's army, and this is apparently mission three. Let's learn about traps, shall we? Hmm. Dungeon Decor supports up to five workers. Oh. Locks mana, it seems. Welcome to the breach, Underlord. This stronghold was built into this chasm to safe keep one of the Empire's inhibitors. With its trained garrison, it's virtually impervious to attack. Fortunately for you, their commander, Lord Othelan, is a vacuous sort who will throw his troops at your dungeon without strategy or order. Mm. I can think of no better time for you to learn how to build defenses for your dungeon. But to do this, you'll first need a foundry. A Open foundry. the veins of evil and unlock it now. Foundry, a Build place for your minions to produce your minions defense will parts. Be happy to create defenses for your dungeon. Foundry unlocked. All right, so we got to dig out a, a little gateway. stuff here. Where's the gateway? To plan your dungeon, ah, why there. not use the prophecy spell to clear the fog of war and scout the surrounding terrain? Good idea. Where is prophecy? So we can scout the surrounding terrain. Oh, we're gonna need that. If you're short on workers to do There's your the bidding, gold. cast the summon worker spell to create more. However, every worker after your first five will lock a portion of mana. Summon worker will create an additional worker for you to command. Each worker summoned after the first five will lock 50 mana. Workers can only be summoned within your own territory. If you end up with an excess of workers locking your mana pool, you may dismiss them by dropping them onto your dungeon core. It's all right. They won't feel a thing. <laughs> well, I was just wondering how to get more workers. Now, we need to start putting down some rooms. Let's get a layer you discovered first. A perception shrine. We'll get a barracks next before we forget. This can be a pretty big one. 
we can go ahead and get a slaughter pen down, which will go right here, I'm thinking. Right there, nice and big. We gotta get all these buildings going. You need an archive and cultists in order to research that artifact. You've discovered Ooh. a gold shrine. A gold You've shrine? You've discovered a gold shrine. Tagging it will allow your workers to mine unlimited wealth for your dungeon. Ooh, your unlimited money. Your workers will be a mindless bunch and will continue to claim territory until you command them otherwise. Use impasse to create banners and limit their movements. Impasse has two modes. One to stop your workers from traveling over the marked area, and another that will let them travel over the tiles but will prevent them from claiming them. To dismiss an impasse flag, simply give it a slap. You can also right-click impasse. the impasse icon to dismiss all such flags. If your coffers are full, or if you're afraid of how wealth might change you, you can always untag it with a second click. So I want to put these impasse flags somewhere here so they don't go too far, correct? Uh, it's not the worst thing though, it's not the worst thing to, to just be claiming everything. Now let's open this up a little bit here. Okay, we need a bit more room for a few more rooms. This, this is actually suitable here. We needed a foundry. So let's build a foundry. We're gonna need some more gold as well, so let's go break some of this open. Uh, these guys are still claiming tiles here. Has entered your dungeon. Ooh, what is a that? Chanda has entered your dungeon. Attracted by the foundry, this gassy creature will joyfully launch the fetid content of its stomach to attack. Your other minions would do well to stay a few steps back. Mmm. Delicious. The coffee, I mean. <laughs> anyway, we've got a bit more room here. I think uh, we could just... Uh, our... This Your is our barracks, right? Your needs are not being met, Underlord. Build them the basic rooms they require. Is it the tavern that they're missing? have got another sin to use, Underlord. Open the veins of evil and unlock the blade lotus. Blade Lotus. Ooh, the Blade Lotus will slice and knock back enemies within melee range. It can be toggled into an inactive mode that keeps it hidden from enemy sight. Blade Lotus unlocked. The Blade Lotus is a spinning flower mm. of destruction that tears nearby enemies into shredded flesh as it pushes them away. To build defenses for your dungeon, you need simply to lay their blueprints upon a claimed tile. Like that. Easy enough, and I guess the workers will eventually go build that, I guess? So we've got this foundry here, which we could expand a little bit if I dig this out. Uh, we should open that up there. We've got this going here, which we could eventually expand a bit as well. Might as well do You've that. You've received yes. a new sin. A new sin. So we get to unlock Annex. Annex. Unlock. Okay, that will help a little bit. Uh, that's bedrock there. We can open that up a bit. What what rooms do we not have? And what's this artifacts tab? Unidentified artifact. A cultist must unlock this artifact for you. It's this one, right? The unlimited gold one. I Blade think. Lotus complete. Ooh, splendidly it's done, right there. Lord. But see how some of your mana has been locked away. You've identified an artifact of joy. These defenses require a small portion of your mana in order to function. You will regain this locked mana when the defense is destroyed or sold. Many of the defenses you build can be toggled between two distinct modes, each with their own effects. Toggle the Blade Lotus by clicking it now. Toggle the Blade Lotus. The Blade Lotus can be dropped into a hidden mode, which allows enemies to unknowingly pass over it. The perfect trap for retreating foes. Now click the Blade Lotus again to reactivate it. When active, 
The Blade Lotus will carve your enemies down to size. Unless you're fighting those stinking dwarves, who will end up pint-sized. <laughs> Due to its small size, <laughs> the Blade Lotus is most effective in tight corridors. For a bit more firepower and range, you should consider the Bombard. This defense will launch flaming iron balls at any foe that mistakenly wanders too close, swiftly turning their bodies into broken vessels of blooded mash. Select the Bombard, and build it upon one of the flashing tiles to the east of your dungeon core. Ooh, a Bombard. Fantastic. You've got another sin to use, Underlord. I've got another sin. Uh, there's nothing we can unlock right now. That's fine. So everything seems to be doing well, right? This is our lair here. That's our tavern there. This is the archive, which is here. We're spending up some of this money, but uh, there should be plenty of money that we can actually dig out here. Um, this unlimited money here intrigues me. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig up this gold here, and then we're gonna have to break that Defense and dig out uh, there, there. The bomb dig that up. Be placed into overdrive mode by clicking it, which will increase the speed at which it fires. However, each attack while in overdrive will damage the defense. Now that you have some offense, I you see. should wall off your dungeon core to prevent your enemies from sneaking in and destroying it. Build a wooden door upon the flashing tile. The wooden door will slow the advance oh, yeah. of your enemy for a short time. However, it can also be used to prevent your minions from wandering into haunted corridors. More private baths. Ooh. Ooh. Um, so we're actually... Are we Wouldn't Are we in negative money? Complete. You've caught on quick, Underlord. Now put your murderous new talents to work. There's no doubt that the insipid Lord will soon learn of your presence and send his troops forth to die by your hand. You've claimed a gold shrine. Ah, yes, finally. In the finally. meantime, you should continue to build defenses to protect your dungeon. Adding any additional rooms you desire to diversify your army and improve your chances of survival. Let's hope your vault is brimming, Underlord. It is payday. Ooh, it's payday. The wooden door can be toggled open and closed with a click. While closed, no minions may pass through unless the door is opened, destroyed, or sold. Should you wish to speed up the construction of your defenses, you can pick up defense parts from your foundry and drop them directly onto blueprints. So I kind of want this Blade Lotus at the door, correct? Maybe two? You know, that, that should help, I guess, I guess, right? <laughs> Tandos here says, who likes the sound of his own voice more? The pro console from Caesar 3 or this guy? Now the pro console from Caesar 3 is uh he, he's up there on the liking his own voice scale. But this guy. I mean, if you had that voice, would you not love your own voice? You could just talk like that about everything. Imagine you're going to the grocery store to pick up some eggs. And you have his voice. <laughs> what? <laughs> but yes, uh, let's expand some of these rooms. Uh, slaughter pen. We can expand that a little bit there. Looking good. Is that a little wall decoration? That's kind of cool. Okay. Is there anything else we want to... So I can turn on this gold shrine and it'll be mined indefinitely? Oh, I didn't even realize all these optional objectives. Uh, defensive tabs. So it says build a bunch of blade lotuses. So where's, where's our door? It's here. So build 10 bombards, really? So we're supposed to build- This evil presence shall not stand up to my might. Rally straight forth to assault them men. Build How ten bombards. How terribly kind of the nitwit to announce his attack. 
Prepare to defend the center line, Underlord. You've received a new sin. Received an... Is there any use for having extra sins? I'm not sure. So it says here I have at least three archive barracks and foundry props. Uh, which ones? This is the barracks? So we could expand Your our blade barracks. Lotus is under attack. Our blade lotus. So... Well, um... What That's do pretty you good. mean they're all dead? <laughs> this threat is more serious than I thought. Now, Give which me one? A minute. I shall prepare a new plan of attack to thwart this devil. All right. His plan of attack is just running in, right? Let's expand our archive. Uh, we're supposed to have three. Now, where's our foundry? I, I've got a bit confused. Which one is our foundry? This is our foundry, right? So if I just expand this a little bit. Uh, foundry, foundry. So, we're looking to have three props, as they call them. Okay. So we could just dig those out, so... Got it. We Archive shall Barracks, the Foundry. And the center simultaneously. That <laughs> should bamboozle this unholy menace. Okay. Scatter their bones for the rats to clean. Where are they attacking from? And also, how do we... It mentioned we could speed up defense part. Like, if I just... I can help build by picking up the def not you. I can pick up defense Your parts and Lotus is under attack. Blade oh, I Lotus see. Complete. I see. We can just manually build it on up. Did I accidentally drop it in the wrong spot? I think so. Build that. Okay, there we go. So we can just rush the construction of these things. Ah. This Defense is simpler than complete. I thought. Very good, very good. So did I accidentally drop one here? I, I don't think so. Okay. So they're really rushing on through here. Your blade lotus has been destroyed. Okay, that's a little Your unfortunate. Bombard is under attack. Uh, we're gonna have to deal with this, aren't we? How did he get on the other side of the door? What? How did he get on the other side of the door? The defenses aren't being built because the door was locked. Inconsyncrasy. Thank you for that. The door was locked so the defense parts weren't being Your delivered. Minions have entered battle. Of course, of course. That makes so much sense. So, archive, barracks, and foundry props. I would need to expand the archive a little bit there. Uh, barracks, we can expand that there. Blade, Lotus Foundry. Complete. This is... That's the layer. This is the barracks. Foundry? Have we expanded the foundry? This is the foundry here. Can I get... that to three? Not quite. We have to, like, open it up there. Okay, so now now we're getting things done. Your Defenses. Are being we gotta get these back, I think. And bombards. We can have another bombard there. It's saying build ten bombards. That's actually kind of crazy. You're a scepter. They've all been bested. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. I'm thinking. Layer. Let's expand the layer a little bombard bit. Bombard complete. There we go. That's a layer there. Pretty big. Uh, we could do with more money, actually. Can we just, like, dig out all this gold? That would be handy. So, bombard complete. So now all of our defenses and traps are being made here. Fantastic. Uh, we can send our workers back to work. So we've sort of blocked They'll this off. certainly not expect this trick. Assault the center and the south. They'll never see us coming. When they say the center and the south, this do they come dance. through here? 
could have used a few firm lashes as a child. I suppose they, when he says coming from the north and the south, they mean these, these pathways here, right? So, you want to kind of have some defenses on both of these sides, if I'm not mistaken. Like that. Your bombard is under attack. And have like a bombard there and a bombard there. Okay. These are now coming through. We never got those built. Can I? Do we have? We need to rush this construction a little bit. I think because I left my soldiers out there, they weren't actually Your producing parts. Lotus is under attack. Are they coming from down here? Your bombard has been destroyed. Oh, we lost the bombard. Oh, there are some people coming from... Who is this guy? Juggernaut. Okay. How's our spells tab? Do we have this lightning? Problem solved. Problem solved. Ah, the lightning spell. Ooh. <laughs> ah. Can we just clear this off a bit? Complete. Your oh, minions we... are under attack. We've spent all of our mana. That's fine. That's fine. We don't really have that many units, do we? We've got another gnarling in. Uh, we can expand this. I'm trying to get this Bombard bonus objective. Complete. Three archive barracks and foundry. So archive. Barracks and foundry. Your we need to expand Lotus this. Is under attack. Oh, that got to four. There we go. Uh, objective complete there. So they want us to build more bombards. Let's clear these off. So I suppose I... Can I cancel construction of this? I'm not sure how to cancel construction, but I guess that's fine. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, I'd want to put more bombards on this side. There we go. And we're gonna need more gold, so just go ahead and mine out that gold there. This this thing is still being Your mined, blade right? Lotus has been destroyed. Okay, By okay. The light. Have none of you had any training at all? It <laughs> is payday. It is payday. Do I have what are these two numbers? Payday will cost 3390 Is that showing that I will not have enough money for Payday? I think so. So we need four more Bombards. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And that will achieve that bonus objective. Swiftly, troops! Attack all three sides and we'll surely overwhelm them with our might! Did it's inconceivable that they'll survive this assault. <laughs> we did finish I these traps. This much fun in we haven't finished years. these. Okay, we gotta we gotta rush some of these. Make sure th defense constructed. These sides are actually completed. Come on, give me one more part. Anyone? Wait, I forgot to tell you something. Retreat. Oh. Retreat? Your blade lotus is under attack. So they're gonna have to try and bust through here. No, not you. Ah. But oh, they're picking up the pieces. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. But I'm quite happy about finishing all of these Bombard bonus objectives. Complete. Ooh, yes. This gold shrine is very useful. Just having infinite money is very useful. Who knew? Who knew that having infinite money would be a good thing. You would have never guessed. <laughs> Can that bombard actually hit? Your blade lotus is under attack. Your blade lotus has been destroyed. Which, that blade lotus? That's fine. We've got three more blade lotuses here. Oh, that's how he got past the door. This blade lotus actually pushed Defense the guy to the other side of the door. Oh, I see how that happened earlier. I see. The Blade Lotus pushed him to the other Your side of the door. Is under attack. Oh, I see. 
These guys are gonna need some help, right? Insufficient mana. That helps a bit, I guess. Your bombard has been destroyed. We might need to use our soldiers here. Oh. Some guys are busting through here. Your blade lotus is under attack. Okay. Let's rally all minions up to this side. Actually, we don't need to. So Everyone back to work as usual. We've actually got these bombards all down. These blade lotuses are all set up, so we stopped that. So it's just a few guys here. Why are these guys are Oh, that's annoying. They're shooting They're shooting the the blade lotus. And the blade what lotus a cut. Marvelous meat grinder. Uh, okay. I under I understand traps now. I understand traps a bit better. Where are these guys walking? Shouldn't you guys just walk that way? Are they are they walking around like a, a long way? You need a larger vault. Oh really? We have that much money. Well I guess this is fine. Your blade lotus is under attack. Yes, From yes. All sides, swiftly! Whilst the minions of Evil recover! Your blade lotus has been destroyed. This assault Finally. may actually test your abilities, Underlord. Do try and learn something. Okay, everyone back to work. Now that the Bombard can actually shoot. <laughs> our soldiers went around the long way. That's kind of weird. Uh, we lost all of our defenses on this side, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to want to have, like... Put Cult these back here. Lost. Uh, the blade lotuses. Like that. Dig that up, please. Your blade lotus is under attack. They're coming down the middle. So the middle should be fine. We've actually got... Blade lotus complete. A total meat grinder there. We're gonna have to send our troops this way, I think, because our defenses are just not set up. We're gonna need a bombard there. Your minions have engaged the enemy. Is there a way to just send our... Your bombard is under attack. Two chunders back to work. Okay, okay. I, I, I'm starting to understand how traps are supposed to work now. Now these chunders, are you producing things? Because we kind of need... Bombard complete. Did it finish? No. Your blade lotus is under attack. Your minions are under attack. Did we not? Can I not? Com Your blade lotus has been destroyed. Parts installed one of two. Why can't I? Why, ca why can't I rush this? I'm not too sure. A defense Did we? Has been built. Let's clear that off. Okay, there we go. Now it's been built. Two bombards going on down. Fantastic. Defenses. We can replace that eventually. How'd the middle do? Middle did fine. We've got plenty of stuff there. Blade now, Lotus complete. Let's bust Your that open. Are under attack. Okay, okay. We can bust that open and then we can put another bombard right Those here. Loyal to the Empire, come to me. I will tell you the tale they will sing of us when we have finished here. They'll sing of our bravery and those who have fallen. They will regale the noble way in which we fought and won. They will proudly shout my name, Lord Othelind, savior of the Empire. Now if you are with me, cheer with me. Make sure you keep your dungeon secure, Underlord. Defense what? built. You there! Lead Why was the there a charge from the north! There? And you, yes! Lead the southern assault! We shall attack in two ways! I will lead the second from the rear, so I may issue orders more easily. Charge! <laughs> 
Roger. That sounds like the final invasion. Let's build up more defenses here. We could have another bombard. Two more bombards, I think. And we'll just have another meat grinder there. Yeah, bust this open, please. Charge forth and assist your comrades! Your blade lotus is under attack. Are they hitting the middle? I think so. With these blade lotus and the six cannons, I think we're actually fine. I think we're fine. Bombard complete. Sounds like a squeaky ten-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's kind of the point, though. I think that's kind of the point. We can rush some of these defenses. There we go. So all three bombards. Oh no, just two bombards can shoot that guy. Your okay. blade lotus has been destroyed. Your Which blade one? Blade lotus is under attack. This one. All right, we'll replace that blade lotus. Doors cost a thousand gold. So I guess it would be handy to just put doors down Your where. Bombard is under attack. We actually can't have a door here. Alright, so quite a few people are busting on through here. Ooh, nasty. Center-wise, we lost one. Destroyed. We lost a bombard. Must have been on this side. No? Your blade lotus is under attack. Blade Lotus complete. Lightning time. Let's expend all of our mana here. Not enough mana. <laughs> all right. Your Blade Lotus has been destroyed. There we go. We can put those back on down. So that's showing that we don't have enough money, right? I don't know, what is, what is this? Your bombard has been destroyed. Your bombard is under attack. What, the, what does this negative number mean? I can overload the bombard to do more damage? Yes, but then uh, they would take more damage, right? I'm kind of just gauging Blade this. Lotus complete. Their standard come again. abilities. There's still some guys there. Did, did I do it? Yes, there we go, there we go. Is that victory? Now that uh, he sent his entire army to their death, you should have no trouble killing him and destroying his inhibitor. Rally your minions forth to silence this insipid lord. Your ah. defenses will gradually repair themselves over time. Really? But to speed things up, drop defense parts onto them which are constructed in the foundry. Why didn't he tell me that earlier? I was wondering how to repair things. Anyway, just in case, I'm going to replace things here. That's probably not the best defense layout, but it, it works fine. Oh, we lost a thing there. Gonna need a thing there. And the center is actually fine, so that should be good. Bombard complete. We could do that. We could do that. And we're just gonna bust on through and kill him. Oh, they have their own defenses here. Ballista, I see. So these guys just sort of throw up on the enemy, right? Ooh, nasty. Oh, we have a worker here. Okay. And you know, I guess I could just remove these inhibitors now, right? Because if we claim tiles... Your minions are under attack! It will actually give us vision. And we've got extra workers, so I wouldn't mind losing a few. Where are these cultists going? Oh, they're finishing these off, I see. Sally forth, sally forth. We've got a big door here. Chanda lost. Oh, we lost the Chunder. You know, I'm using his strategy of just charging all of our units to their death. Cultist lost. 
I'm using his strategy. See? That, that, that's how you strategize. Use their tactics against them. Hmm. If I need more money, mine the gold mine? I thought it is currently mi Yeah, it is currently mining. There we go. There's four people on it right now. So we've, we've got infinite money. Don't worry. This guy's just sort of wandering around. And there we go. We're actually claiming these tiles. There's some extra gold here and there. But this just sort of, sort of, sort of gives us vision. A vault, underlord. a vault. We don't even have a vault. I never made room for a vault. But you know, a vault doesn't need to be any specific shape or size. So this is our vault now. Your minions are under attack. There we go. Have we busted through the door? We have. Can we actually finish them off? I hope so. That is really loud if you zoom in. <laughs> Can we kill him? Can we kill him? I think we should be able to, right? We've got quite a few chunders left. Three, two, four. We've got nine total workers. Probably too many workers, right? Spells tab, just in case. Anything of interest? There's their vault. That's just bedrock. Any secrets or anything? Don't see anything. You have insufficient mana to cast that spell. All right. So it seems like we killed the big guy, and just who is that? Can't quite click on him. Can't quite click on him. Ah, but Silence I think that is. Has never sounded quite so sweet. Oh, that was him. That was him. All right, let let's finish off their inhibitor. Victory, yes. What's the objective? Yeah, kill the big crystal. That chunder cannot satisfy its needs because it is rallied. Ooh. Superbly executed. Before we move on, I must warn you. The next inhibitor comes with an unpleasant surprise. Ooh. Fine work, Underlord. Now that Othelan and his cronies are a dehydrated paste, let's move on with our assault and destroy the final inhibitor. All right, well, that was a good hour of War for the Overworld, and my PC didn't crash, which is good news all around. <laughs> anyway, that's a pretty good first look of War for the Overworld. Um, this is kind of a Gamer Encounters, kind of a nostalgiasm, because it is just basically Dungeon Keeper. It's Dungeon Keeper. And uh, according to Shadow Knight in chat, that is the same voice actor as the original Dungeon Keeper. So it's Dungeon Keeper. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Seems pretty good, seems pretty good. This, this for now, is just a one-off video because I wanted to check it out properly because I tried Dungeon Keeper for the first time ever on that Nostalgiasm video and I wanted to see how the, the game progressed. And actually, this is the kind of spiritual successor that everyone wants, right? When someone makes a spiritual successor and people call for a spiritual successor, they basically want the same game but better. And this is Dungeon Keeper, but better. Right? Now, I'm not, I didn't grow up with Dungeon Keeper and I'm not like a master of the game, but... This is, this is a good spiritual successor, right? I mean, it's not like Populous the Beginning having From Dust as a spiritual successor, right? They're two different games, right? They're just, it, From Dust is just influenced by Populous the Beginning. But can you imagine if more developers just did this? You know, take Caesar 3, take Populous the Beginning, take Metal Fatigue and do this with it. Just, just make the same game but better. It'd be good. Let me know what, what games you would love to see a spiritual successor of. And in the sense of basically making the exact same game but better. Better graphics, slightly improved mechanics, and that's it. It'd be cool. It'd be cool. Even if going back and getting the original voice actors and, and doing stuff like that. That's really nice. Anyway, that's going to be it for War for the Overworld. Again, thanks to Raz or Mega Raz, who should be in chat, who 
gifted this game to me. So he is the underlord of the day, underlord Raz. And yeah, fun. If you wanted to play Dungeon Keeper again, I know this is not like a on time look. This game came out in 2015. So I'm a couple years late checking out this game, but uh, it's good, it's a good game. And look, they've, they've got all sorts of extra content now. If you haven't tried it, there's My Pet Dungeon, whatever that is. Anyway, thank you so much for joining. I draw lines. Clerk and Ninja Pizza Monkey, Super Sajuk, Shadow Knight 649, Kyrie Sage, Murhe Mursu. Murhe Mursu. Hope you had fun, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!